Greetings, Keisha Lanes. Keisha Prime here with my live reaction of Kingdom, Chapter 695. We're getting closer to 700. Um, yes, so uh, a war of misinformation led presumably to the deaths of both uh, Ryofu and, um, oh crap, Kohaku? Ko? If I remember right? Um, so, yeah. And with the fall of the guardian deity, Bedazzled Grandpa. Um, yeah, Zhao is slowly running out of generals. <laughs> um, and they're also, like, just getting masses of POWs, you know, on from on the opposite side. So, like, they're losing soldiers, be it via death or imprisonment. They've lost their leadership. Things are looking kind of bad for Zhao. So, yeah, I do kind of wonder what's going to happen in this chapter. So, uh, let's get to it, shall we? Um, let's see here. The title is The Chest. Oh, okay. Justice, Survival, Conquest. What happens after a victory? And we have Conky here. Let's see. Hurry up. Get your asses over there. Also, the fact that the fleeing um, Conky army members came back because that just happens <laughs> was kind of funny. Uh, let's see here. Gah, there's more? What? Who? Oh, is it more Zao troops? Hey, it could be bad if more show up. Uh, there'll be more than we can handle. Oh, wait, they're bringing in more goddamn POWs? Shit. If they riot, it won't uh, matter if they're tied up. We won't stop them. Yeah, I'll go tell the chief. Zinho, uh, my area is full. I'll bring some of mine here. Uh, help me out here. Take them somewhere else. You have a ton of free space over here. My guys are bringing some, so just make space for them. <clears throat> uh oh, so we're gonna have some uh, in fighting. It's what it's looking like. It's like I don't want any more of these goddamn zows, you know. I said bring them somewhere else. I heard in or uh, Kanza are making space for more prisoners. They're sowing fucking mis information amongst themselves now let's see here um for more prisoners i'm telling you they're full shuru and on uh two on okay all these names that i'm never going to remember but we don't know who the hell they are as far as i know you want me to list off more uh they're full everywhere what what the how many did we capture again this is so they're like, fuck, we captured a shit ton. Um, Kokuo, Marin, you did it, huh? Uh, Ringyoku, uh, so you're still kicking. Okay, so the, the main conky circle is coming together. Kokuo, I heard you were up against a pretty tough opponent. Did you get him? A little punk named Ryuhaku, yeah. Oh, shit. He ran away before I could... Okay, so he is alive. Okay. I, they said fatal. So, I mean, that could have been taken in two different ways. That's why I said presumably. Or it seemed like in the beginning. Is that it either was that they actually died. Or it was just the casualties of their armies that was the fatal mistake. But she said before she could kill him. So, like, how injured is he potentially? Um, I got a really good hit in, though. He, mu he might just die from that. Oh, so is that the chest we're talking about? Is <laughs> he got striked in the chest. Foo-foo, that'd be great. I really thought this was going to be it for us. I kept saying this, but man, the boss really is amazing. Yeah, he's the best. I wish he'd told us the plan, though. We're officers, aren't we? I know, right? Does he even trust us? 
Probably not, to be honest, because he kind of threw Rado to the goddamn wolves. So, hmm. What pisses me off the is uh, that only Marin knew about it, and he thought it would fail. So he fled with his tail between his legs, and Marin <laughs> over there like, uh, the hell? If he told you, it might have been too obvious that we were losing on purpose. He only told me the plan near the end. Oh, apparently he told Rado too. <laughs> what? What? That's not fair. So if Rado had been tortured into giving that information, the whole plan would have fucking failed. Damn. Rado, you are MVP. Why Rado too? That's more infuriating than him telling you for some reason. Damn. Ogigo delivered the message to him. So that's what the message was. Or did we already know that? Damn. Um, shit. So even Ogigo... <laughs> I love the fact that he was the one that knew it as well. <laughs> oh, that cracked addict or <laughs> that crackhead looking son of a bitch um ogiku ogiku kukuku i really don't get that man why did he tell rado but not me if rado is rado that much more important to the boss than me do they know that rado's dead no that's ridiculous impossible ridiculous by the way what's with the doom and gloom Marin? we won you know there are more prisoners than we thought, and it's a pain, apparently. Oh, yeah, it's quite the spectacle, right? Uh, get it together, damn it. Uh, your worries aren't even snot uh, compared to mine right now. Can you just be quiet for a bit? Huh? <laughs> I want to hurry up and see the boss. Kukuku, not long now. Once the battle's over, we can waltz around the enemy territory as we like. That being said, there might be soldiers with some fight left, so be careful. And he's, Marin's looking over at all the POWs. This is honestly not good. Our plan to make them surrender work to treat, but it worked too well. Yeah, a plan that works too damn well is a plan that's going to have problems. Especially in this particular situation, because they're right. I mean... If these soldiers, like, have any fight to them, their sheer numbers would overwhelm the Conky army in ways that, like, they would just steamroll them with their dead bodies until finally they, you know, either some flee or they actually, like, some of them break their bindings. Because, you know, it's not like metal handcuffs. This is, like, probably rope and shit. So, like, they could... Like, if they knock over an enemy soldier and, like, get a knife and start cutting the bindings, then they grab up weapons, and... Yeah, there's a lot of problems with this. And if some of them manage to make it to, you know, their surviving forces, the ones that fled, well, then that means they'll come back in full force and be like, Yes, our brothers are still alive. And it's like... In, Good lord, if um, the whole thing about um, Kohaku, like, living, like, damn. <laughs> That'll probably put some fire in someone's belly. Let's see here. So they're fighting off some of the, uh... Hmm? Oh, I thought I heard my door open. Uh, let's see here. So they're fighting with some of the prisoners. We've actually got some of the Haishin unit here. Or all of the Haishin unit? Or is this the Haishin unit battle... Oh, this is the Haishin unit battlefield. Never mind. This is bad, uh, Kuryu Uh Taking EQ was, uh, has drained our soldiers' strength. We can't get past them. We have to get past them. Uh, we can't reach uh, Kocho's HQ if... They don't know. <laughs> uh, news of Kanki's victory over Kocho didn't reach the Haishin unit. So they're just kind of fighting the remnants of a lost army, huh? <clears throat> hmm? 
Is it me or their ranks getting more disorderly? Wait, they're retreating? Uh, what's happening? So, Cohen, uh, B hair just kind of like, uh, I'm kind of fucking tired here. Shin's like, what? And, uh, Ray's up on a rock or something looking. As the Kohaku army retreated towards, uh, Heiyu, uh, Shin received news of their victory from a messenger sent by Kanki. What? Is it the messenger? I think it is. K Kanki himself? K killed the Supreme Commander? Kocho? No, it wasn't who I thought it was. <clears throat> Let's see. Is that really true? How did that happen? Also, I thought it was uh, Ogiku that might have been the one that came to <laughs> deliver the message. I'm funny as hell. Um, how did that happen? Hey, stop lying to us. What? We're not lying, back, dumbass. Yeah, we're here to look over this fight and make sure the Zao are routed. Right. Uh, that's the message. Let's go. Bayan. Naki. Uh, you're still alive, too? Yeah, I made it. The battle here was a difficult one, so... Did the others make it? I don't have much to say to your traitor's ass, but... You consider him traitorous, you bastard. <clears throat> also, his name almost looks like Bane. I may call him Bane, just to be fun. Let the boss Marin and, uh, Kokuo, uh, well, are all fine. I don't know anything beyond that. I see. Okay, so, uh, we're at the Conky Army HQ, I guess? Yeah, there's POWs and everything. But he's not here. We rushed our asses over because we heard he was here. He... Wait, who, who else is here? <clears throat> and I'm assuming they're talking about Conky, obviously, but, like, who's the one that rushed over? I guess the his inner circle? He, he was just here, but we just found Rado. Oh, shit. The boss is over there now. Oh, so this is, um... Bedazzled Grandpa's, uh, HQ. Let's see here. Hey, you. You really found Rado. Uh, just come with me. So they're leading him to the corpse. If he's still alive, I'll be surprised. But I'm, I imagine he's dead by now. Even if he wasn't full-out killed, he probably died from his wounds. People close to Rado, huh? So you didn't know Rado was missing, Marin? Well, I was running away, so... The enemy captured him during the struggle on the right wing. Then they took him to Kocho's headquarters. What? Okay, so they're all learning this. Then he must be... So he's dead. Rado. Now they're probably not feeling so bad that he knew the information, but then they're probably like, God damn, he was probably killed after being tortured and everything. It's like, but he didn't break. He didn't let the plan be revealed. The boss just said to bring you three over. Uh, because you're close to Rado. I was told to bring the three of you together. Uh, that dumbass uh, wouldn't die this easily. So Coco is in doubt. And let's see here. We've got... Oh, it's the... Oh, yeah, he was beheaded, wasn't he? <clears throat> it's the head of all of the people that were being tortured. Boss, why do you have them on a table? What? And he's pointing out Rado's head. They're just all in disbelief. Hmm. He, he's not here? Seems so. Not the heads. The chest. Oh, his head isn't there? And they found this chest. What the fuck is this? They're... Oh, it's basically his 
coffin for his dismembered body. Poor Rado. They cut off his goddamn toes. <laughs> and they're, like, repulsed by this. Marin's about to fall the fuck over. Or did he? What? What is it? R Rado. Rado. This is Rado? Rado. Uh, ah! No, Rado. So Coco's about to vomit. It can't be. Rado. Okay, she vomited. No, Rado. Rado! Okay, so we've got, like, some of the... I don't know which tribe or group they're from. Conky. The Saki clan. I extracted the details from one of them. Let's see. They tortured Rado for information. They cut him up piece by piece while he was still alive. Well, I mean, would it be torture if you just cut him up after you stab him in the head or something, you know? No, that's no way. Rado got mad respect that day. But even so, he didn't say a single thing before he died. And they're all just like, God damn, he was hardcore. He knew about the boss's plan, too. If he cracked we would have completely lost. You know, some people, I think, were actually, like, pointing out that, like, Rado's death, like, didn't really amount to anything because of how the group kind of is, you know, their their bandit mentality and whatnot, but the officers are really showing their true feelings for one another in this chapter of, like, you know, they do seem to worry about one another, and Naki is another example of this. Like, you know, when the messengers from Kaki's army came to tell them about the victory, you know, he was asking about anybody, you know, is everybody okay? You know, so. So I, I do like the the human, uh, the humanity of this, you know, chapter from these group of, you know, unmentionables. <laughs> so, yeah, the fact that they're gonna, like, somebody's gonna name their goddamn kid Rado after this, is all I know. Because they're like, shit, he knew the plan, he didn't crack. Rado, Rado. Ugh. Okay, so, here comes Oki, or, Oki? <laughs> Why did I say Oki? Conky, um, he's stepping up to the coffin. I'm gonna call it a coffin, it ain't a chest no more. Cuckoo, you were always ugly, but... They just had to make you look even worse, huh, Rado? Really? Hope he says something more profound. Boss! Oh, he's dipping his hands in the blood. I told you not to push it and just run if things look dicey. Did you even hear me, asshole? You stupid idiot. He cherish, you know, caresses the face. Uh, Rado! Ugh. How dare they? How dare they? Damn them! They really got us. Are they mocking us? Who did this? Kocho and the torturers. Kocho is already dead, unfortunately. Most of the torturers killed themselves to avoid retribution. There's just one of them left. Oh, they are going to torture the fuck out of that dude. How many? There's one left. Not you. I was asking Marin. Huh? Conky. You don't mean Marin, huh? How many? He's talking about the armies, isn't he? Or is he talking about the POWs? I think he's talking about the POWs because they took Rado hostage. Well, prisoner. And then tortured him. So Conky's probably like, Okay, you bring a knife to a fist fight. I bring a gun. It's like, you stab me in the back, I kill your whole family. You know, he's always going to, like, ramp things up. He is like the mafia boss kind of deal. So, I think that's what he's implying here, is that he's like, how many POWs are left? 
I'm not taking them prisoner. I'm not taking them hostage. They are the enemy. They deserve to be in the ground. You know, I think that's where we're going here. Because, <clears throat> like, they clarified that there was only one torturer left. And he still is asking. And Marin, you know, knowing about the plan and everything, and he went to where they're keeping the POWs, he knows what that situation kind of looks like. He may not know the exact statistics of, like, how many people are there, but he's got a good idea, and that's what Conky wants to know. It's like, how many prisoners are left, Marin? <laughs> you know, so, yeah, this was not a bad chapter. It brought a lot of humanity to, you know, the Conky inner circle, which I very much like. Because, like, most of them aren't, like, super likable, you know, with, uh, what is his name? Ring something? Um, he, like, he's relatively new. I don't remember him in, like, earlier arcs and whatnot. Maybe the last arc or something, but I don't remember him any other time. So it's kind of weird that he's, like, high up in the echelon of the Conky army, but he's only been more recently introduced, so that that's kind of weird. But, like, the fact that they all, you know, revering Rado, you know, you know, being this shocked and in some cases disgusted and throwing up, realizing what happened to him and what that meant by him, like, not revealing the plan that, you know, just went off without a hitch. Like, and that's probably what that one line was earlier. It was like things went too smoothly and now they know why. So... Or was that narration? That might have been narration or something. But I remember the line being said. Um, so yeah, it's because of Rado. Only like four people knew the plan. So yeah. But anyway, so that's... Uh, uh, like I said, this is a lot for our uh, bandit group. And like I said, I very much appreciate that characterization. But, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Also, like I said, I think Conky was implying, like, how many prisoners are left, and he's probably thinking, it's like, why aren't we killing them? They took one of ours, we'll take a hundred thousand of them. I mean, they're, they're no good dirty enemies of the Zhao. Why should we keep them alive? You know, so I could very well see that logic. I mean, what good are they going to be unless you brainwash them into kin soldiers or just, like, suicide troopers, you know, that you'll send into battle first few waves or something? And then if they die, they die. I mean, they're just literally supposed to be meat shields and to whittle down, you know, infantries and whatnot as quickly for, like, the real kin troops to come in you know unabated and you know uninjured tired and everything so yeah <clears throat> which that would actually be an interesting thing if that ever happened in this series but I don't think brainwashing is necessarily going to be something that we see all that much but at least not on that kind of scale I would think I mean tens of thousands of people being brainwashed into being like I said, suicide troops? No. I don't, I don't see that happening. Unless we get into some magical mumbo-jumbo. Which, I mean, does exist in this universe. So, <laughs> who knows anymore. But anyway, um, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I miss, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content. See what you like. Suggest things for the future. Help me reach 500 subs by the end of October. 500, 500. Uh, links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel so go check that out. And as always thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keeshlings. Are there going to be a lot of POW deaths in the next chapter? Oh boy, I'm thinking so.